Many traditions call the week before resurrection Holy Week. The word holy means to be set apart or to be different. And certainly as you read the Gospels, this last week of the life of Jesus was different. Jesus knew that his time on earth was coming to an end, that his days were very numbered. And what we see Jesus doing in this last week before he is killed and resurrected is pretty different. It's pretty set apart. He is preparing not only himself, but his followers for his resurrection. And traditionally, this day is known as Spy Wednesday. It's an interesting phrase for a remembrance that it is the Wednesday before the resurrection that is uh, credited with Judas deciding this is the day that I'm turning Jesus over to the authorities. Judas had been following Jesus for three years, and this certainly wasn't the first time that Judas had considered um, abandoning Jesus or turning Jesus in. It probably didn't take long for Judas to recognize that his agenda and the agenda of Jesus were not the same thing. And it bothered Judas. It bothered Judas to the point that he was willing to sell out his savior, his friend, his Messiah. And in the book of Matthew chapter 26, we see uh, that Jesus is in a little town called Bethany and he is resting. He is relaxing at the home of his friend named Simon. Now, I think this is critical. We're not gonna talk about it very much, but it's critical to know that even Jesus took time out of his busy schedule to rest, to relax, something in our busy world we need to remember. Jesus is there relaxing and resting at the home of his friend Simon and a woman comes in with a very expensive alabaster jar of perfume and anoints Jesus' head with it and the disciples cannot believe this is happening because the perfume and the box that it was stored in were worth thousands and thousands of dollars and they figure wow, this is a big waste. And Jesus says, why don't you quit getting on her case for offering me this spectacular gift, this extravagant gift, because what she's actually doing is preparing me for my burial. So you guys leave her alone. And when Jesus says that, when, when Jesus says what she's doing is good, what the use of this money, this perfume is good, Judas has had enough. Judas was the... He was the purse keeper. He carried the money for the disciples. And Judas was also a zealot. He was one who was looking for a Messiah to kick the Romans out of Israel. But here is Jesus over and over telling his people to love their enemies, love the Romans, pray for those who persecute you, pray for those Romans who are persecuting you. And everywhere Jesus goes, he teaches this love and this grace and this mercy. And it is the exact opposite thing that Judas is looking for. And the lesson for us is that there will be times in your life when your agenda and the agenda of Jesus bump up against each other. When what you want is not what Jesus wants and you have a decision to make. Do you submit your agenda to Jesus and do what he asks? Or do you put Jesus in a corner and do you betray him? On this Wednesday before the resurrection of Jesus, it's important to recognize, it's important to remember, and I think it's important to shine a light on the fact that we all have our own ideas, we all have our own opinions, we all have our own way of thinking that way, that the ways things should be, or the way things should happen. And if you're paying attention, they don't always agree with the way Jesus says things should happen. And when we are confronted with that conflict, the best thing we can do is submit to Jesus. So I don't know what's going on in your life today. I don't know what difficulties and struggles you might have, but there will probably come a moment today when you have the option to choose your way or the way of Jesus. And I pray that we all pass this test. I pray that we would all choose the way of Jesus and not the way of Judas. This is Spy Wednesday in Holy Week. But let us be always willing to submit, not spy, on Jesus. Bye.